you know, here and competitors. Um, what we're trying to do is try to create a new Mauritian drink that uh, Enterprise Mauritius can take back to Mauritius and uh, maybe promote and publicize it to some of the bartenders out there, hopefully inspire some of them. So what we've done, we've collected five bartenders, six bartenders, sorry, uh, from the UK who are trying a range of Mauritian rums for the first time or second time, maybe even fourth time. It's me, it's 10 times. But they're trying Mauritian rums for the first time. And what they're gonna do is use um, use some um, ingredients that we put together, some spices, some purees, some citrus, just to help them create this cocktail with their, their knowledge. And they only found out what the ingredients were about half an hour ago. So uh, these cocktails are brand new, never been made anywhere else in the world, all original. So um, we're quite excited to see what they're gonna do. Right, so without further ado, I introduce you to our judges who have the arduous task of tasting these cocktails and scoring them and creating a legend. You know, by the way, when, when one of these guys win and they're legends, it's because of you guys. You know <laughs> so, first prize for the bartender is trip for two to Mauritius as well. Woo, compliments of Enter 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 Enterprise Mauritius. Ashween over there. That's the guy you have to get a ticket from. <laughs> Casey goes missing at the end of that. But it's not only a trip to Mauritius, they're also they're going to be going out there, they're going to be learning about some of the rums, they'll go to a couple of distilleries, and of course, hopefully promote, not hopefully they will be, we'll make them work, promoting this drink that they've created here uh, to some of the bartenders in Mauritius so we can, so the Mauritian bartenders can understand that Mauritian rums are an international spirit. Having a, as well as having the pride of serving rums back home, they'll know that bartenders in the UK are using Mauritian rums for their particular cocktails as well. So that's another thing that we're, we're looking to use you guys if one of you win. Okay, great, right. So I'll introduce the bartenders individually. They, 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 know, they, they know the drink that they're, they're gonna be making. They've already looked at the recipes. They've already made it up inside their head. They now have five minutes to make their particular drink uh, for you. And remember, this is the first time this has ever been done, this drink. So if they do make any mistakes, they have to add a little more stuff inside there, there with them. Uh, just like a chef who is trying out some new ingredients. But first, I want to introduce you to Mr. Joey. Joey, I can't remember you saying. Medrington. Medrington. There you go. Joey Medrington from the London Cocktail Club LCC in London. So make some noise for Joey. <laughs> and with my official timer, who's Andre? Oh, official timer, Andre. Andre is going to be on the time. So they have five, five uh, Mauritian minutes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so it's a, it's like it's like Caribbean minutes. It's like yeah. If you go ten, if you go ten seconds over, we might not be too strict of you. If you go an hour over, then we will be. Okay, right. So they're also going to talk through their drink while they're making that, just to explain what they're doing, why they added these ingredients together, just so again to in, inform us, cocktail novices, um, what we're drinking. So without further ado, let me just check with the time, Sam. The time, time, are you ready? Yep. Joey, are you ready? I'm good to go. Yeah. Judges, are you ready? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so after one, three, two, one, go. Hi guys, my name's Joey Medrington. I work for London Cocktail Club. Um, drink I'm going to make today. I only found out about this competition yesterday. Um, I was invited <laughs> to come down and try the rums. I had to work yesterday, unfortunately. Um, so I got here a bit early. I thought I'd have a little taste. But on my way here, I realized I didn't know that much about Mauritius either. Um, but what I did know is that the little man called Ozzy across the road from me, in the Blackstock Cafe on Blackstock Road, every time I go in there, he's either got a Mauritian football strip on or an Irish football strip on. So he's half Irish, half Mauritian. Oh, wow. So I got my bacon roll and a coffee with him this morning, had a little chat about Mauritius, and he was obviously waxing lyrical and telling me everything he wanted about how beautiful the country it is, about the history, how it was first colonised by the Arabs in the 1500s, about when the Independence Day is, um, about the beautiful countryside, the flora, uh, flora and fauna, um, and about birds. And I got quite interested in the birds thing. I, I'd read a little bit, and obviously the infamous dodo was, was from Mauritius. Um, you also have the pink pigeon, you have the Mauritian kestrel. So this gave me a little bit of an idea about where to go with the drink, especially about naming it. Um, in London Cocktail Club, we, our drinks are fun. You know, they're accessible. They're nice and fresh and light. So this is the route I started to go down. Um, first ingredients I'm gonna try, which the lovely Olivia gave me, is the Chamorel double distilled uh, agricole rum. 
So double distilled in pot stills, distilled up to about 70%, I want to find it out. Um, 70% alcohol and then married for six months and brought down with water to get a beautiful, you know, one of these really fruity yet quite vegetal runs. Um, I get shakes when I'm making drinks at the best of times, so please excuse my shaky hands. So I'm going to do 30 mils. <laughs> oh, well, that's I not have that extra tequila last night. <laughs> and use 30 mils of this. So this is going to be the base and the backbone. This is going to carry all the other flavors that I'm bringing in. Um, I then had the lovely chat with Karine over here and to let me try her fantastic rums, the exotic taste rums. These are flavoured rums, they use an agricole rum and then they add fresh fruit, so it's all a purely natural fresh flavour. Um, this is the passion fruit I've chosen. Again, I think in Mauritius I think of tropical flavours, so passion fruit is one that comes to mind immediately. So I'm going to use 20 mils of this. Shaky measures, Jesus. 20 mils is just going to freshen up the drink, make it light, give that tropical fruity flavour. Um, lime juice next. Again, about 20 mils of lime juice. So lime juice is going to act as a souring agent and then I'm going to have a sweetener to go in there. So you've got that sweet sour balance, again, which is going to bring out the flavours. The sweet I'm going for peach. So peaches are kind of quite a European fruit, but I think it's also very tropical. Um, so I'm going to use this peach um, puree syrup, if you will. So again, 20 mils of that. And then the final ingredient is Nolly Pratt. Speaking with the, the um, guys over there about rum, there a lot of French influence in the rum. Um, Nolly Pratt is a fantastic French vermouth, um, very traditional, but also has these tropical flavors from the white wine base that it uses. Um, and this is gonna add a little bit more character and a little bit more flavor, but also a nice bit of dryness to counteract the sweetness that's coming in. So again, 20 mils of this. Cool. I'm just going to swizzle it, just with crushed ice, nice and simple. You don't really need any extra equipment here. As long as you've got a glass, some crushed ice and a spoon, you're fine. So getting back to the birds, obviously, Mauritius, when uh, the Arabs first landed and then the Dutch came, there was no real predators on Mauritius. So. All the animals were just very friendly and not afraid of anyone. You hear stories about the dodos walking onto the boats, just walking straight up. And it struck me that this is a kind of island that's like that. It's been, you know, lots of wars have happened because it was such a, a trade route to Australia and, and many other things. But it's a very peaceful island, it strikes me as. So I wanted this kind of peacefulness to come through in the drink. It's not too overly complicated. How am I doing for time? Uh, you've got 35 seconds. Ooh. Right. Just gonna add a little splash of soda. Just to liven it up a touch. So Mauritius Independence Day is on the 12th of March. So that was last month they celebrated Independence Day. Um, and this is again this gave me an idea. You know, you have these, these dodos that was killed, you have these birds, you have this beautiful landscape. So my cocktail is called the free bird. <laughs> so I have a little feather which is going to symbolize the birds. Excuse me, sorry. So you garnish there. You can just come round, judges, if that's all right. Present my drink. I also took some influence from the fashion people over here and they gave me some lovely fabric. 